Right, uh, we have um, Stuart McNeese from the New Brighton Pier and Foreshore promotion. That's number 1060. Yeah. Welcome. Hello, thank you for having us. Thank you, Mayor and fellow councillors, for the opportunity to submit to this annual plan. I'm Stu McNeese. Um, I'm a lifetime resident of the Eastern Seaboard, um, and I also have a business, business interest in Brighton as, as elsewhere. I'm here on behalf of the New Brighton Pier and Foreshore Society. Um, we were established in the 1960s to um, drive the, <coughs> the rebuild of the New Brighton Pier. And uh, the society were principal drivers in, in raising half the money for that, re for that rebuild. And uh, mainly from people who were, for want of a better word, were New Brightonites, um, who wanted to get, their, get back their pier and get back what we had. I doubt that any of you guys here would um, dispute that the pier is an asset for Christchurch as a whole. Um, if you look at TV icons, gone is the cathedral, unfortunately, but we've now got the pier sitting there on TV showing people that what we've got here in Christchurch or New Brighton it's it's true. as a whole. Um, pier and Foreshore have since worked on the memorial seating um, close to the clock tower and centennial trip tribute to the Duke who brought surfing back to New Zealand in 1915 and um, we did a we've got a plaque there and a, a, and a monument to the fact that he, it's been a hundred years since then or 102 now. This is just south of the clock tower. So what else is missing? Uh, hot salt water pools were another feature of New Brighton and we lost those in the late 40s, the early 50s, I'm not quite sure when that was, but it was about that time. These were used by the greater community and sited on the current New Brighton Club site adjacent to the beach. Pier and Foreshore have now set their, their, our sights on the return of those hot salt water pools. We feel that the pools are complementary to other lap pool complexes, not competition, and can help and health benefits to users as submitted by earlier today by Dr John Cook, for, <coughs> will provide for a positive interaction between the community and visitors alike. As such, the, like, the society would like to profoundly thank you, the Council, for budgeting of, of the further $11 million towards that project. Furthermore, the involvement of Development Christchurch, which brings with it high quality personnel, is also heartily welcomed. Thank you. They have kept us well informed uh, as they could at the time, with sensitivities involved, and have some great ideas. The initiative to fund DCL without adversely affecting the ratepayers is something else that we applaud as well. Once again, thank you. We appreciate the, lead, the need to be here today because of legal issues that needed to be completed. We have, been, we have submitted and been consulted to death now. <laughs> Now, through your actions, we can see that Christchurch can have a seaside leisure resort, a tourist resort, and a facility to be proud of. We f feel that this facility is not just for New Brighton. It will be a greater Christchurch slash Canterbury benefit. It has the p potential to be a sister complex to Hamner and link in with walking and cycle trails citywide. Maybe we can even persuade some visitors to stay an extra day in Christchurch rather than go elsewhere and spend their money here of course. So thank you for your time and thank you for the commitment that you've given to New Brighton and the city. Thank you. Yes, Yanni. Thank you for your submission and thank you for the work that you've done on the on the pier and for sure. I just, Council, we, we've heard a lot about um, New Brighton feeling neglected yet Council prior to the earthquake has spent huge amounts of money on the library, the roading and contributing to the pier. So what I'm really trying to understand is why do you think the hot salt water pools are going to change what's happening in New Brighton? It, it's, it's, it's hard to understand um, 
the request for huge amounts of spending when we've done that previously and it hasn't worked. So what is it about the hot salt water pools that you think is going to make the difference for New Brighton and why are people, I guess, so excited about that as being something that's going to save or deal with the concerns that are being raised? Well, for a starter, I don't just see it as a, as a benefit for New Brighton. It's a benefit for the city as a whole. Um, the, as, for, as, for, as per the benefits as a, for New Brighton, I don't think it can hurt it. New Brighton Pier has been a positive for, this, for the site. Um, we, you only have to look at the number of people that use that facility now. We already had a library. The fact that the library was already there is... It was a council decision to move it there. Um, I don't think that we are asking for or mm -hmm. anything more than what any other suburb would be looking for, apart from this hot salt water pool. What, what, what else can it do for Brighton? I think it can help lift the whole profile of the eastern seaboard. Um, it's little increments that is what we're looking for. In relation to the hot salt water pools, I see that there was a proposal in 1999, and do you know why that fell, fell over? Or? Sorry, I can't help you on that one. Right, okay, thanks. Um, Aaron. Yeah, we've had a lot of submissions from Brighton today, and they've been very, well, extremely passionate and, and heartfelt, and uh, almost too scared to ask any questions. Um, and, uh, but, but I will. Uh, so, because you only started it, the, the hot salt water pools feels to me like it's a catalyst, whether it was them or something else that Brighton felt like it needed a catalyst, because people seem to be really, really hanging on the concept of those pools, even though uh, there's another aquatic facility going in at the old Kiwi 2 site. So I don't think it's just the fact of a pool, but of something that says we're as special as anywhere else in the city. And I think the fact that your library already has probably got the best view in the country, you don't even need books. You can just go there and sit, just take in the view. You know, picture says a thousand words. Um, well, that's a short book. Uh, the, <laughs> the, because the other one, there's been other things that have been suggested, suggested with Brighton being on the coast, like a, a Kelly Tarleton style a, aquarium slash a facility that works with the ocean and especially the, there's an, it seems to be a redeemed interest in ocean and what it's doing to the planet and what, it, what we're doing to it and so that potential relationship taking place at Brighton as a catalyst subject, what would your thoughts be on that? As a, a, a Kelly Tarleton? Style, style or something in, you know, in that vein, may, it may have the <laughs> university I've, I've there as well. I've given that one no thought. Okay. Um, um, I would be an uh, personally. I'd be yeah. an anti-zoo person, and that's right. how it, that's personally. But uh, we we haven't considered not considered that at all. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's the, not necessarily a zoo, but you know, a, you know, a, a giant perspex tube where you were walking down inside the ocean well, would they be would, quite different. Well, hey, than they, unusual. Um, we're open to ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just. <laughs> um, DCL should should come and talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've met them. Ironically, Kelly Tarleton's was funded through him discovering lots of gold on an island somewhere. Yes. So yeah. it's, a, yeah. it's an interesting story in itself. <laughs> that is. <laughs> well, just uh, they've given it no thought, but we'll we'll leave it there. Well, Andrew's about. Yeah. No. Look, th th Thank you very much. I mean, we, we've heard a number of submissions today and uh, and the other day um, too, and I'm sure we'll hear more on Monday night. So, um, you know, obviously we have to, as you've identified, we've got a legal obligation. We're putting a lot more on budget for the legacy project than was there before, and we have to ask the people of Christchurch if they agree with that. And um, the interesting thing, as I said to some others earlier, which you weren't here for, was that... Um, when we subtract all of the New Brighton submissions, uh, the majority of submitters on this from the balance of Christchurch have said yes, they support the project, the investment. So, thank you. Thank you very much.